The name of our band is Defret. 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 That's up to the eye of the beholder, really. Yeah. It's a matter of opinion. Yeah. It's kind of a glass half full, glass half empty sort of deal. <laughs> All right, so I'm Hannah, <laughs> and we're in the house with the fret. Defret is a it's a verb. You to defret the bass, take the frets off of it. Now it's a noun. That's two. That 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 two. <laughs> so do you guys want to tell me a little bit about your sound? How you guys got it? Um, you see, our sound. I mean, I don't want to speak for anyone else, but I know me. I do not have a sound. I created my own style of music. I combined probably everything you can think of, jazz, blues, pop punk, punk, grunge, garage rock, rock and roll, um, probably sometimes some reggae, some funk. And he created Aiden music. And he created Aizen, Aiden, Aizen, <laughs> Aizen, it sounds like Raisin, Raisin Aizen. Um, Sorry, we get sidetracked a lot. Besides me, I I would say that we have no, heavy. No, Felix blues. is heavily influenced by Flea. Yeah, I am Fe not heavily. Felix influenced has. <laughs> Felix. That's a lie. Felix guys, say that Connor like... just likes to make fun of that expression, heavily influenced by Flea, and then you say that, and it's not true at all. Yeah. So now I am not heavily influenced by Flea. Thank you very much, Connor. Each individual plays the way that they do, and it will always just match up with each other. And I think that comes together with us just being able to be together and have, like, a good atmosphere and be practicing. Yeah. Hey, Peter! Hey, Peter! This is Peter Reardon. You can't Peter. see him. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I just realized... I need, I need him. Oh, yeah, that's so I, I just realized that we haven't introduced the band yet. That is, this is Connor Dolan. He is our guitarist. That's what they That is Connor Dolan. This is Felix Ward. He is yes, our bass player. Lead bass this guitar. is Clint Lee. I'm Clint. Sorry. Or is it? This is Clint Lee. He is our lead <laughs> vocalist. And I am Aiden Reardon, um, the only drummer. The only drummer? The only drummer for these. Do you guys want to keep the interview going you know. when he leaves? Or do you guys want to just uh, Yeah, we can. Yeah. We can talk. He'll, he'll be fine. If he doesn't mind. I, he I, doesn't I, have a choice. He's got to come yeah. now. No, if he doesn't yeah, mind, yeah. then we keep going. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Clint and I are doing our uh, our offshoot band. <laughs> We're, uh, yeah, this is our new side project. Um, uh, Tefred. Tefred. It's the fret backwards. <laughs> All right. Well, the Connor, Clint, what a CC let's, experience. Let's We're gonna we're gonna get back on track again. Please, <laughs> please continue with this. Okay. Um, well, how long have you guys been a band? You guys seem to be very talkative with each other. Most of you guys knew each other for a long time. Uh, we've known each other for a few years. Like, we've probably known each other for three years. I've known Aiden for four. And, uh, according to all of our merch, we were established in 2014. Okay. That's two years ago, approximately. That's yes. like, Today the, is fall of, the fall of 2014 was when we really, like, came together. Today is 9, 10, and 16. Yeah. 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 So we started at a, a music school, Mockingbird School of Music in Easton. As a, they do like a, a band program where they take people who take lessons there and mash them together, and, and then it's it's a band. So it just kind of stuck. Yeah, and then we were doing it through that, and then we we wanted a little more independence. We wanted to start doing shows and gigs, and and uh, two years later here we are. So what's your guys' favorite part about your gigs? Do you guys usually play festivals or just like bars or? We play. Sort of venues, really, right? Venue. I mean, like we play the Middle just East, just kind of like yeah, quite the a Middle bit. East is nice. Yeah, I yeah. love it there. Um, three hundred six five live. Three hundred six five. We go to a lot. It's like best place on our... Yeah, it's like it's like a nice like chill place with like we find like shout out to Jess and Jimmy. Yeah, the three hundred six five crew. <laughs> we find like cool bands there, and like we meet like all set. Yeah, a lot people. of the bands on the yeah. roster today are we met there. I like I like meeting new people at gigs like. That's one big part, just like talking to uh, no. different, interesting people. Yeah, my favorite part about playing shows is having people listen to our music and me watching yeah. them listen to our music. You know I, yeah, I, mean? I like bringing I like bringing people to gigs. That's probably my because it's it's like they can hang out and see yeah. what we've been doing. And it's, like, it's not like we just went off and did our our gig. Like the best gigs are the gigs that we bring people to. With all of that happening, I feel like you guys have to have some kind of story. 
Like, there's been, like, like, things that, like, I wouldn't, like, just weird people that we've come across, oh, yeah. you know? Like, we played, we that played guy at this, the Brockton Fair we once. played right here, um, at the Brockton Fair, um, just kind of, like, for people passing by. This man, and, wait, can really I tell, wanted, can I tell it, please? Yeah, but, but, but like, <laughs> I just want to get something out no, of no, it. No, 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 like, I want to tell it. Okay. And so it was, like, this was, like, the first time we played it, because we played it this year and we played it the year before. The year before, when we played it, the first time, like, we did sound check, we weren't even playing, and, like, most people were just, like, walking by, <laughs> and this one guy just decided to, like, stay and sit down on, like, the little picnic table and, like, watch us play, and, like, we came off and he was like, you guys sounded so great, we were like, oh, that, that was just the sound check, but thanks, and then, he's just like this, it was like two in the afternoon, he was just like this daytime drinker, but, like, just super friendly. Yeah. He kept talking. Really cool. He kept talking about like you guys are bringing back rock and roll. <laughs> they they don't make music like Ozzy anymore. You know, like stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> he was kind of just a really weird dude. That he man, was a very weird dude. That man really wanted to hear Black Sabbath. He really like, wanted he to hear. His, really he wanted like to hear some any Sabbath. Black Sabbath songs, but he's like, you guys know any Ozzy? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> no. So have you guys made uh, an album yet? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, technically, seven songs. By definition, it's a demo. Okay. But it's it's seven songs. It's I call it an album. For it's widely of available on Spotify and iTunes. Spotify, SoundCloud. iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud. There's a couple on YouTube. Facebook is yeah. live clips all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you guys have any other social media handles that people can find you at? Uh, yeah. We're on Bandcamp too. I don't know if we mentioned that. Uh, I, I'm not familiar we're, with Bandcamp. We're just like on everything you'd expect, like yeah. Facebook, Instagram, yeah. Twitter. Yeah. Twitter okay. you know. And then at our shows, we sell are hard copies of the CDs. I think we're on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. I don't we're know how much we post on, on it, Facebook. but like we're on Twitter. You can follow us. We are DFRED. That's uh, always our. And on Facebook, it's just DFRED. Well, thank you for coming in and doing the interview. We yeah, you found the interview in this. Yeah, no problem. Aiden, you want to wrap, wrap it up? No? I guess that is our wrap up. Alright, well thanks. <laughs> Bye.